Hey everyone, this is Yashvi Patel, and you are watching my YouTube channel. So today we are gonna learn a very important concept in Open TV that is Kenny Edge Detection. So it is a multi-stage algorithm which composed of four steps: noise reduction, gradient calculation, non-maximum suppression, and edge tracking by hysteresis. So let's get started. So the first step is noise reduction. So you all know how to reduce a noise from an image. If you have watched my previous video where I have explained a Gaussian filter and many other filters, if you haven't watched that, then please check out that video. You can find it in the i button and also in the description section. So the second step is calculating the image gradient. So the edge, edge is where the intensity changes. So the simplest thing we can do is to apply the filter which highlights the intensity change of the horizontal that is x direction vertical that is y direction so the filters to find out the horizontal intensity change and vertical intensity change is called sobel operator so we have two operators one is x direction kernel second one is y direction kernel x direction kernel will find out the horizontal pixel change and y direction kernel will find out the vertical pixel change after convolving with the image we will get gx and gy gx for horizontal gy for vertical we will so the edge gradient will be square root of gx square plus gy square where gx is con if con image this image which convolve with this kernel which is horizontal kernel and you will get this gx and if you convolve this image with this y direction kernel that is vertical kernel you will get the gy so you will get using this formula you so using this formula you will get this edge gradient and you can also find out the angle theta by using 10 inverse gy by gx so now we have calculated the gradient magnitude and the direction but the problem now is we have we have edges but we have very thick edges or we have multiple edges the some edges are not useful to us so we wanted to we want the thinner edges like a uh, cleaner edges so the step number 3 is non maximum suppression so non maximum suppression works by finding a pixel with the maximum value in the edge let's say uh, this is my edge is so wider edge so after non maximum suppression i get this thinner edge so how what is non maximum suppression and how it going to do that so it's uh, given the current pixel it will find the two neighborhood pixels in the same direction as we already calculated the angle of the gradient so we will get the direction from there and we will uh, so for the current pixel so for the current pixel we will find the two neighborhood pixels in the same direction as a computed orientation of the current pixel so now we will compare the magnitude of the three pixels current and the two neighborhood pixels and we will choose the one with highest magnitude so in this way we will get the thinner edges so the step number 4 is hysteresis thresholding so if the value of any pixel is higher than the high value that we will specify and then we will set it to 255 and we and if the pixels are in between low to high value then we will set them to weak value that is say 50 let's say 50 in case of multiple edges so how to find out the correct edge so uh, what has stress thresholding do it let's say there is a current pixel i get the 50 current pixel so i will see if any of the neighborhood pixel has the value 255 then i will change the value of that pixel to 255 otherwise i will discard that pixel i will change the that pixel value to 0 so let's say uh, let's say i am in the uh, pixel that is 50 so 
I have five. I have five to six. I have all the neighbors. I will see if there is a value two fifty five in the neighbor. If there is a value two fifty five in the neighbor, then I will set to that pixel to two fifty five. Otherwise, I will discard that pixel. So now we understood the algorithm. Now let's apply this algorithm. So to apply the algorithm, you can use this. Open CV function, CV dot Kenny, and the first argument is image. Second argument is a min value for from the hysteresis thresholding, and the third argument is a max value for the hysteresis thresholding, and the fourth argument is the size of the Sobel filter, and the last argument is L two gradient true. So if you keep this L two gradient false, it the edge gradient will be G X mod plus G Y mod, and if you set it true, then this original formula will be applied. So now you can see the result. This is the building, and I applied the Kenny edge to this image, and the result is look like this. If so, this is it for today. If you find this video useful then do like share and subscribe to my channel so see you in the next video until then bye bye